Hello and welcome to my channel, Mr. Clark. Today I'm doing a psychic art reading. When I do psychic art readings, I don't always know who's coming through when I start the drawing. I usually see a bit of the person at a time and then just go with it. As I'm drawing, I receive messages from spirits as well. After finishing the drawing, I'm now channeling the, the messages I receive as I look at this picture. The man I'm channeling has a strong and masculine energy. He was a, a patriotic man. He's given me the word patriot and he's he tell me he was a patriot. I don't know much about American history but I feel he fought in the American Civil War. And he's he's wearing a blue uniform. I, I can see him wearing a a uh, blue coat and a uh, three-cornered hat and he's um, he's carrying um, a long gun as well, a rifle. He's, he's telling me that he was part of a big and loving family and he was he was encouraged to work hard from a young age. Education was important for him and his family. His family always encouraged him to learn he was, I feel he was well educated. He traveled for his education. His dream was to inspire other people and, um, and I feel he was a teacher as well. He, he showed me that he, he moved somewhere to, to get an education. He was a charismatic man and he made friends easily. He showed me that he moved a couple of times during his lifetime. I feel he moved for for his education and he moved for work as well. And when he moved, he found it easy to make friends. He, he quickly became a part of a new community. He was well liked um, within his community and he was, and he made a great leader. Teaching was very important to him. He, he he taught as a as a teacher in a classroom environment environment, but he also taught in battle as well. Um, I f I feel like he was put in charge of young of young men, and he was he was given the task of of teaching them. I feel there was he showed me there was a young man he meant he mentored in during battle, and he became quite close to him. I feel this this man he was a confident man and he had a lot of self belief. He always knew that he had a special mission in his lifetime, even though he didn't even though he didn't realise it, he showed me that he was very intuitive and very spiritual. He was always full of ideas and I, I can see him writing a lot during his lifetime. I feel he would go and sit somewhere quiet and he'd start writing and all these ideas would come out and I feel like they were channeled to him from spirit even though he didn't realise it. These ideas would seem to come out of nowhere but this was really spirit channeling wisdom to him. I'm being shown that communication was important during this life. He was he was always learning and he would communicate what he learnt to other people. I, was, I see him gathering information and passing this information on during battle. He showed me gathering information and passing information on during battle. I, f I feel like he was gathering important information from the other side to bring back to his his own side to help them win this battle. And um, he's telling me that he had an important role in this battle. He was trusted to bring back this information. He tell me he wasn't anticipating his death. He was very confident in himself and he was sure he was going to he was going to survive and he would, he was very confident his side were going to win. And so he wasn't expecting it when he was captured he showed me that he was just before he died he was hidden away he tucked away to 
no one saw him. It looks like he was spying on people. And he showed me that a man found him. There was someone that came from behind him that he wasn't expecting. And this man captured him. And he showed me that once he was captured, this opposing side, they tried to force him into giving information. They didn't kill him straight away because he was important to, the, to them because of this information that they want to try and get from him. And he, he showed me that he, he refused to give this information and I feel, I feel this is how he died. He showed me that he wasn't ready to pass away at this time. He was, he was happy that he died serving his country, but I feel he had a lot more to give. He, even though he was a very strong man, he had a gentle and nurturing energy. He felt he could have made more of a difference to the world if he had longer to live. He showed me that the younger generation were important to him. He wanted to nurture and inspire younger people so they could flourish and and make the country a better place. And he's coming through now because he wants to send love to his country, America. He's telling me there's a lot of instability in the USA now and he's shown me that he tell me his country was built on freedom, love, opportunity and strength. And he's saying that many Americans feel that these values have been lost at the moment. But he says that the country is growing stronger and there will be positive times later this year. And he's, he's telling me that all around the world there is a cleansing period happening this year, people are viewing and reflecting, they let, uh, letting go of old values in order for us to begin a new chapter. He's saying there's a lot of divide in his country and um, he's talking about the importance of standing together and uniting. He's asking us all to look past our differences. Don't let differences get on the way of love, strength, freedom and opportunity. He's talking about the world coming together, about different countries uniting and he's, he's shown me that um, over the next couple of years we will st start to work together more to create a more sustainable lifestyle. And he's talking about if there's going to be a lot of political changes starting from later this year and this will not only in the US but this is echoing around the world and he's saying that he's talking about the truth coming out or starting to come out later this year he's telling he's saying that we've been kept in the dark for a long time there's been a lot of important information that's been hidden from us and he's saying that from November the truth will start to come out and although this truth will be difficult at first, it will set us free. And he's also talking about the importance of making decisions that are right for us and not decisions, not what we have been told. He's saying there's a lot of information and propaganda. He showed me that there's misinformation coming from both sides so he wants us to be careful of this he wants us to follow our own, own tuition when we are being presented with different facts he's asking us to do our own research but and also make sure that we trust our intuition what does this information ask ourselves if this information feels right and he's talking about the importance of being true to ourselves and to do what's right for us, make the decisions. There's going to be a lot, we, we're going to need to make a lot of decisions over the next year. And he's asking us to do, make sure we make the decisions that are right for us. 
After I finished the reading, I did some research. I discovered that the man who came through in the reading was Nathan Hale, who was an American soldier and spy during the American Revolutionary War. He took part in an intelligence gathering mission and was executed at age 21. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.